Coach Reed, high praise from Perry just now. <laughs> high praise. Uh, you guys played them, and he said that you guys were big, you did everything right, and you blocked really well. So that that when I hear that from somebody else, he's like, they did everything right. You yeah. guys did everything right. Big, fast, but blocking very well. Well, first things first, I appreciate their sportsmanship because they stopped us after the game and told our players that, which I really appreciate as a coach because that's what youth sports is all about. So I appreciate that sportsmanship. And our guys hear it from us as coaches, but for our guys to hear it from another coach, uh, that resonates. So that's what football is, right? That, that, that's what we preach to our kids. Fast, everyone doing their job, block, physical, and good things happen. It's really hard, though, to be disciplined for in youth sports because everybody wants to touch the ball. It's true. Right? It's true. Nobody wants to be the lineman. Yeah. I was talking to, uh, I want to say it was uh, Coach Garnett. He played in the NFL. Yeah. Um, he's walking around today, big, massive human. And he's like, nobody wants to be a lineman. That's right. Like, he's, even his kids want to touch the ball all yeah. the time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How, how do you guys get kids to do the basic things right every time? Well, so that's what we preach from the first practice of conditioning is everyone is as important as everyone else on this team. And we go as our line goes. Um, that's the last thing I say to the kids when we go on the field is if we win the line of scrimmage, good things are going to happen. And uh, we played really well and we won the line of scrimmage that game. And good things happen. So we got a great group of kids. So everyone buys into the team um, and everyone does their job. And that's always our message is good things happen. So where are you guys from? I don't even know. <laughs> a little oh. town, Germantown of Farmersville. Okay. So we're about 20 minutes southwest of Dayton. Okay. So, this was our big send-off for Pee Wee football coming up here, so we've been looking forward to this. But you've won state titles at the high school level. We have. Multiple. I've got two state rings. We got so on our coaching staff, we've got I think five state rings between us. So it's a good it's a good program we're trying to keep going down in Valley View. So absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of teams down in that area where you're at that are really good at football. Yeah, it's, football's a big deal down in in Ohio everywhere, but especially the southwest part of the state. It's, it's a big part of our life. So yeah. Uh, what's the biggest thing you want kids to take out of the sport? To move forward in life, I guess. I guess the signs coming down. It's all on you. good. But what's the biggest thing you want these kids to take? Because football ends. You yeah. know, I've talked to Beanie Wells today. Yeah, yeah. Talked to all these different guys, yep. a bunch of different NFL guys. Yeah. Football ends. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. And, yep. and judging by looking at you, you didn't play in the NFL. <laughs> I did not. Right. But you can go play. That's right. Mid American Conference yep. football. You can play D two football. You yep. can play Division three football. Yep. NAI. Whatever the level. JUCO yep. doesn't yep. matter. Yep. How do you take these lessons from this and apply it to life? Yeah, we got a coach who went to Stanford to play football. Uh, great experience, and that's what we preach. That's what we preach to our kids is uh, classroom super important first and foremost. But there's so much you can learn by being a football player that you can't learn in the classroom. Things you learn about yourself, your heart, your toughness. So um, those are life lessons that stick with you, which is why all of us coaches are involved. So yeah, it's a good thing. What do you do for a living? So I'm a director of care source, actually. So I work in the kind of the managed care space. Um, it's a fun job. It's a good job. But things I things I learned playing football, I take with me to my job every day. I lead a team. So um, it's coaching principles. It's the same thing. It's it's a life lesson we teach our kids. So yeah. Where Dayton? Are you in Dayton? Are you in Cincinnati? Where do you work? Downtown Dayton. But I'm, Downtown I'm Dayton. All over the state. But yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 One more game this afternoon, I want to say. I think so, yeah, 2 o'clock. And if you win at 2, you're in the finals tomorrow. That's what I hear. Now, if you don't win, I think it leaves it up to a bunch of criteria. I think so, yeah. Because then Perry might be able to pass you over. Yep, yep. How important is this next one? Very important. One play at a time. That's what we preach. One play at a time, and if we play Spartan football, good things happen. So, yep. Flying blind. You don't have Perry, and you guys are three, four hours apart. And I love it. Flying blind, though. I love it. We, we know the teams in our league so well. The teams know us so well. I love coming up here and not knowing anything about them and them not knowing anything about us because we can see how we measure up. With the things we teach our boys, we can see how it measures up against the teams that don't know us. So, And the first game was fun. So we got on to handle our business second game. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? I don't. I appreciate facility. It. Facility. Talk about the Beautiful facility. facility. OAC, what do you think of that? This has been a highlight for us. So we've been looking forward to this. One of our coaches found it. Um, and we've been looking forward to doing something at the end of sixth grade for our Pee Wee football send-off. Um, so, yeah, this is – this is a big deal for us. And coming up here, we've, we've got a lot of baseball players we travel for, but this is as nice of a place as we've been to. So, super impressed. And organized. Super organized. The staff have been wonderful. Uh, the fields are great. The referees were great. Nothing but great things to say. Our kids are having a blast. It's what it's all about. All right, Coach Reed, you got anything else for me? No. Can we can we get the players So, involved? let's talk to them. Let's do it. Good luck to you guys moving forward. I appreciate forward. you. Thank you. I appreciate